see the subscribers going up. You see that in real time? Yeah, I'll show you. Ready? Refresh a in eight minutes. Wow. Okay. Again, that shows how important it is to grow your following on LinkedIn. In this video, I'm going to launch a LinkedIn newsletter. There's going to be two critical lessons in this process. The first lesson is to understand how important it is to grow your LinkedIn following to at least 10,000 followers because the bigger your following, the bigger your launch is. The second lesson is that if you do have 10, 20, 30,000 plus followers on LinkedIn and you're not leveraging this feature for your business, you're sitting on a massive opportunity. My name is Shanae Murray. I have about a million followers on LinkedIn and currently have over 425,000 plus LinkedIn newsletter subscribers. My name is Shanka Ponsole. I'm Shanae's wing man and I'm a serial entrepreneur and I also like to advise board. You're the most stylish wingman ever. <laughs> First, let's describe actually what a LinkedIn newsletter is. A LinkedIn newsletter is a series of articles that you write under a specific topic. The main benefit of a LinkedIn newsletter is that your followers will all get a chance to subscribe to all of the future articles that you write under your newsletter. The second thing is that on behalf of LinkedIn, your subscribers to your newsletter will also receive your article in their email inbox. This is massive because it allows business owners to reach more of the right people more often. The third thing is that your articles, because they're on LinkedIn, they can become searchable. So your articles under your newsletter and the actual newsletter itself that shows a library of your articles can become searchable on search engines like Google, Bing, et cetera. I'm gonna walk you through this step-by-step -step process by actually launching a new LinkedIn newsletter. And the reason why I'm able to do this is because LinkedIn allows you to launch up to five LinkedIn newsletters. I want to re-emphasize it's really right now the most powerful thing in marketing you can do. You have a newsletter software, you have delivery in the inbox, you have SEO and blogging. It is just so powerful. Right? The first thing that you're going to do is understand that you have to turn on creator mode for this. The way that you do that is go to your profile, go down, and then here you'll see creator mode. My creator mode is on. It's pretty simple. You do need at least 150 connections or followers on LinkedIn to launch your LinkedIn newsletter. And they have a couple of other requirements such as you need to have not broken their policies uh, and you need to have posted some type of original content. But usually if you have over the 150 mark, then it will allow you to access that feature in creator mode. Okay, so once you have that, you're gonna go to write article, click your profile and then click next. Then up here, you will see manage, All right? So manage newsletters, create a newsletter. This is where you're gonna go through the process. And again, for this video, I'm actually going to launch a newsletter live. So the newsletter that I'm going to launch today will be called Daily Content Ideas. It's going to share a daily content idea for business owners and entrepreneurs because one of the biggest resistances that we get when it comes to people building their personal brand is the resistance of how do I come up with new content ideas consistently? So we want to reduce that resistance for people on LinkedIn. Here, I'm going to put in the newsletter title. Here, I'm going to put in the frequency and you have the option of daily, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. And you really just want to choose the bandwidth that you, your team, your energy allows. Most of our clients do weekly or bi-weekly. I'm going to do daily newsletter description. I will share a daily content idea for business owners growing their personal brand. Now, in this description, you won't be able for it to be so long because if I kept typing, it will cut me off pretty soon. So just keep it a sentence and keep it pretty simple. Here, I'm gonna upload my image. We found through launching multiple newsletters, guiding clients through launching multiple newsletters, that there's a greater acceptance rate, especially if the person is already creating some type of content on LinkedIn or has some type of network on LinkedIn, if they upload their an image of their face versus a logo. As you can see, then you're gonna click done. 
sometimes you will get this error message. Sorry, something went wrong, but actually that it's just a glitch within LinkedIn. You want to click X and then you see this where it says daily content idea. It did create it. Now there's a difference between having created a newsletter and having launched a newsletter. Just because I created it doesn't mean that it has been launched. So you have to write your first article within that newsletter for it to actually trigger and launch to all of your followers. Once I write this first article, it will send a notification to you in your connection request inbox saying, Shanae Marie has invited you to daily content idea. Do you want to subscribe? And then people will start to subscribe and we will also see that live. Here, I'm going to say the title of the newsletter. Here, I'm going to just share why, like what it is, why I'm launching it, what people can expect in future editions. Now, one of the things to note is that this article is not going to be an email. It is only going to trigger the system to invite my followers to subscribe. So technically, the second article within your newsletter will be the first email. So in Canva, I already have this, you know, daily content, daily content idea. And then I'm going to just download so that we have the thumbnail. I'm going to go back to LinkedIn and say one of the questions repeatedly get asked by business owners grow their personal brands or start to grow. This newsletter will be a solution to that problem. You just honestly want to share from your heart like why you're launching this newsletter. Here's what to expect. P.S. And then here, I always put a call to action. To you grow your personal brand on LinkedIn, click here to register for the upcoming free LinkedIn masterclass. One mistake that some people do on LinkedIn is they'll just hyperlink this. So it'll look like this. But it's actually better if you do the entire sentence because, again, people are busy. A lot of people's eyes get tired like mine. One thing to note, if you have multiple newsletters, you need to make sure that it is launched under the right newsletter. If I switch this to Q&A with Shanae, which is my main newsletter, I won't launch anything because Q&A with Shanae already has almost 270 something thousand subscribers. But I need to do daily content idea and then click next. Once I click publish, every single one of my followers be able to subscribe. So they're going to get an invitation. Shankar is going to show that. And then we're going to experience the growth here. So Shankar, just wait for the trigger. Here we have it. This is my invitations tab. And you can see at the very top here, we have Shanae Moray invited me to subscribe to her daily content idea. So this is very easy to accept. I just need to click the button accept. And now I'm one of her subscribers. I see the subscribers going up. You see that in real time? Yeah, I'll show you. Ready? Refresh. A thousand people in eight minutes. Wow. Okay. But again, Shankar, that shows how important it is to grow your following on LinkedIn. And I know I sound like a broken record, but again, these thousand people I can reach in their inbox every single day, every single week. And the percentage of them actually opening it is so high because we're writing on LinkedIn's domain authority compared to just a private email list. But then again, it could be leveraged to grow a private email list around content. I don't know if you know how difficult it is to get newsletter subscribers in traditional ways. And this is just as you can witness live. This is just flowing in right now for Shanae. This proves it's critical that you grow because even if you have a thousand followers now and you launch, you get 200 subscribers. You should always get between 10 to 20 percent of your following should subscribe and then it could grow up to 50 percent of your following depending how good and consistent your content is but it proves that let's say you grow to 10,000 over three months or six months your second newsletter launch will have thousands of subscribers so the bigger you grow the bigger your launch is the more people you're able to reach in their inbox the more clients you should be able to get and the bigger your private email list if you have a freebie should be able to grow this is absolutely critical i cannot stress this enough because let's just say that you take linkedin newsletters 
seriously. You create a freebie that's 10 times better than any of your competitors. You build a quality email list, a private email list that is built from your LinkedIn newsletter. Even between 3,000 to 5,000 people within a year, that could sustain your business for years to come. People just don't understand the value of this. When I talk to some of the very big entrepreneurs and companies that we consult that are doing 60, $70 million a year, when they hear how this can be leveraged to grow a private email list, they understand the gold in that. They understand the ultimate value. And they're thinking, I don't care if it takes a year or three years because this email list will serve this company and my personal endeavors in perpetuity. It's so critical to understand. It will benefit your business. It will be almost impossible for it to not benefit your business if you grow and have a lot of LinkedIn newsletter subscribers, 1300, okay, in nine minutes. The way that mm -hmm. we'll actually see is the list of subscribers is here. So we won't get their emails but we will get their LinkedIn profiles. And then what these people are basically telling me is that they would like to receive help with ideas for their content. So let's say that I had an ebook, 90 days of LinkedIn content ideas. These people would be much more likely to subscribe because they want that help. If I had a course where each framework that I share in text on LinkedIn would be elaborated more in a video, they'd be more likely to opt in. The purpose is that you want people to start raising their hands for things that are connected to and relevant to how you can help them. It's really focusing on who you serve versus what you offer, how you could help them versus just, oh, the services that you provide. Going down this list, I could see who maybe I want to connect with. I could click their profile and then I could follow back. I could see if they're creating content. I could engage with content. I could say, thank you for subscribing. I could start a conversation. I could invite them to, you know, how to start creating content on LinkedIn, a live event or another newsletter or a freebie. There's so many things that you could do. And again, that's only possible when you grow your following. Yeah. One thing that I also noticed is that each time I release a newsletter, I'm growing also in followers. So it's almost like you're starting a machine where it feeds into itself and it's very effective. There is no shortcut to this. And I hate to say it. This is after four years of building content, creating content, posting content, shooting videos, even when I was exhausted, even when I didn't feel like it. This is the byproduct of that. So you can't say, oh, I want 100,000 followers on LinkedIn and not be willing to do the work and make the sacrifices required to build that following. I wanted to show this to make it clear the potential that there is, but also this comes down. This is not possible without a big following and a big following is not possible without posting content consistently, learning the skills required to do so and committing to it long-term for at least a year. It is a mentality that if you want to grow your business, it's important to understand that it is your responsibility to get in front of more of the right people more often and to provide them with more helpful information and that they could take action on. God bless you and have a phenomenal day. Ciao.